Hello guys, it's Ween Kid. Today we're going to be rating the songs in God Means Satan on a scale of brown. I got this video idea from a guy named Yeeha90, and here's his comment. He's been a subscriber and a commenter on my videos for a long time now, so thank you for watching, man. It really helps. So, let's start off. I'm going to try to do this in one take, but sometimes my computer freezes up when I do this for some reason, so it might not be one take. Let's just see. So now we got You Fucked Up. This is a wonderful track, a great opener to the album. Very offensive, which I love about it. So we're going to put it like, um, it's pretty brown. I love the guitar work. I love the solo. And uh, so I'm going to put it like right here, pretty brown track. I can imagine buying this album in 1990 when it came out on Twin Tone Records and somebody just being like, what have I gotten myself into? Which It's just a wonderful track. And it's pretty brown. So we're going to put it right there. Now we got Tick. So this song is pretty... Pretty brown, but it doesn't have much going for it. I love the kind of bouncy riff, and I love the I love the lyrics and vocals. Um, like Diener and Gene are singing at the same time, a lot of parts. It's pretty funny. It's a good track, but not the brownest ever, but it's pretty brown. We're going to put it right here. So next we got I'm in the Mood to Move. Pretty underrated track. It's it's kind of like mel very mellow and just slow and just like kind of sludgy. And it's kind of a creepy song. I love the pitch down vocals. It's pretty underrated, like I said. So um, I'm going to put it... Like, right here. Not browner than you effed up, but pretty brown. I got a Weasel. Now, I love I love this song. It I love the riff. It's it's just a, it's just a funny song, especially you hear Dean or Gene are yelling in the background of some spots. So we're going to put it, like, right here. Now we got Fat Lenny. Now, Fat Lenny... Fat Lenny is one of the best songs on the track. It's, like, one of the best ween songs of all time, in my opinion. It's an absolute banger. Oh my gosh, we're gonna put, oops, I did not mean to do that. We're gonna put Fat Lenny right here. It's not the most brown track ever, but I love how Jeaner tries to fit, like, uh, some of the some of the lyrics in, like, one line, and he's struggling with it. I love that. It makes it even better. Um, simple riff, but really good song. So we're gonna put it right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're gonna put Cold and Wet. Um, it's not the greatest track ever, but it kind of, like, it, I like the transition between Fat Lenny and Cold and Wet. So we're going to put it, like, right here. It's not that brown, but I like I like the double guitars. It's kind of, like, melodic. If you like melodic punk, you like Cold and Wet. It's a pretty polished song. Now I got Bumblebee. So Bumblebee is a scream fest. It's a great, great track. I showed the song to one of my friends. He thought, like, he thought my CD player was broken. So we're going to put this right here. Very, very brown. Very, very brown. Don't laugh, I love you. Not really the brownest track. The ending's brown. It's just Diener and Gina screaming and like la looping it and layering it on top of each other. But otherwise, it's not that brown. It's a very fun and like funny song, I guess. And it's kind of like a love song. So <clears throat> we're going to put it right here. Never Squeal. I'm not the biggest fan of this song. I wish the, the, the guitar wasn't just like clean tone. So we're going to go ahead and put it like right here the lyrics are funny so that made that makes me not want that makes me not put it like way farther back but right there up on the hill kind of a acapella beginning but um it goes full punk mode at the end so up on the hill is gonna go right here all right sorry if you saw my video clip there is because i had a coughing attack in the middle of the video all right so now we're on wayne's pet youngin very very brown track a lot of um distortion and uh just it's not screaming but it's pretty it's a pretty loud track and um it's pretty brown it's not not a long track at all it's it's hilar it's kind of hilarious though zany combination of wayne's pet youngin yeah it's it's a good song it's not the most brown though but it it's pretty good we're gonna put it right here for brown it's not the brownest song ever but not like not like unbrown so nicole kind of have a mixed opinion about the song it's it's very reggae, but it's not really like it's pretty boring for like it's like eight or nine minutes, and the vocals are highly offensive. That makes it kind of brown, but I don't know. It's kind of boring, so and it's not the brownest. So I'm gonna put it right here. Um, common bitch, common bitch, little girl, <laughs> common bitch, very very screamy. It's about a common bitch. You might have guessed that. I'm pretty sure you probably guessed that by the title, but um. It's it's great track. I've always loved it. So it's pretty brown too. So we're gonna put it like right here. I love the kind of like riff. That's kind of a sick riff. So I'm bitch gonna go 
Here, let me make that formatted better. Comment's going to go right here. Yep, right here. El Camino. Never really listened to the song that much, but like El Camino, driving down the road. It's 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 not the greatest song, but it's it's decently brown. I just never really listened to it that much, to be honest. So some some people like this better. It's definitely a good live track, though. El Camino's gonna go right there. Old Queen Old Queen Cole. Old Queen Cole. Got sticky control. Yeah, it's it's uh it's good. It's not one of the greatest ever, though. Um. It's pretty brown though. So we're gonna put it right here. So next we got Nan. I love Nan so much. It's about Eddie Dingle and how he meets a girl named Nan. She overpopulates his senses and she dicks him over, basically. <laughs> and um yeah, Nan. Great song, very brown. I love his he's trying to have an accent, kind of like, I'm I'm Eddie Dingle. I met this girl named Nan, kind of like that. It's kind of a funny way to like say it. So Nan, very brown. I'm gonna go right here. Licking the palm for guava. Well, you know the it's like the scraping the palm for guava tape. This was off that 1988 tape, or 1989, 1988 tape. I can't remember, but yeah, it's a very short song. It has a long title, but the song's pretty short. It's like one minute, but very punk. It's a good song, pretty early song. So brownness though, not that brown. It's gonna go right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Mushroom Festival in Hell. Well. What a great song that we got here. One of the b biggest bangers off this album. Mushroom Festival in Hell. Great. I love the title. It just, I love the chorus. Very, very brown. Gonna go right here. One of the brownest on this album. LMLYP. I don't even have to explain the name. You can probably just think about what it means or you can look it up. I wouldn't recommend looking it up. You might get put on a list. But LMLYP. Put it right here. It's very, very brown. Um, I love it. It's like basically Shockadelica by Prince. And, you know, Prince is one of Diener's like main influences. So yeah, LMLYP, hilarious song. I love the riff and, you know, them going, yeah, it's just, it's just a great song. Really, really long song. Um, but it's not boring like Nicole at all. Like there's a lot going on for it. So yeah, LMLYP, like, right, right where I put it right there. Pop is it. I love this song. I know it's very overlooked. It, I, I like the riff. It's just like a great riff and um very melodic short song. It's about Pop Is It. Who is he? I have no idea, but you know, it's a great it's a great song. So Pop Is It gonna go. It's not that brown, but it's browner than some of the others. So right there, right there. Old Man Thunder. This song honestly sucks. <laughs> it's like 20 seconds long. There's nothing about it that I really like. I don't see why they kept this <coughs> but then keep keep other tracks like maybe they could have kept opus 51 fuge trilogy because they re-recorded that for the album there's like part of it you can hear see and see on youtube so it's not really a good track at all it's not really brown it's just not i don't know i don't really like it that much so brown like right there birthday boy i love this song so much the live version is great too i love the album version and it's just, it could have been such a better song, but I kind of see what they did. They basically just, like, took the tone on guitar so high that, I mean, the tone is just, I mean, gain. The gain and the tone are just so high up. It's just, like, it's just, it's so crazy. So this, that, that makes it brown. The lyrics are not brown at all. It's actually great. Really well, 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 re, it's very well written. I can't talk. So, yeah, it's going to go, I don't know why I have this high. It's going to go, like, I can't really fit it right there. Yeah. Pretty brown because of the guitar tone. So, yeah, there it is right there. Birthday Boy. Blackjack. I actually like the song a lot. I know people are going to be like, it's literally not even a song. It is. It's definitely a song. And do, 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 do. It's just so slow and just like drags on, but I just love it. It's so brown. Man. Blackjack, right up here. The brownest one yet. This might be the brownest one on the album, if I'm going to be totally honest. Squelch the Weasel. It's Squelch the Little Weasel. It's it's a, it's a decent song. I've never been the biggest fan of it. It's kind of boring, kind of a it's a good acoustic little jam, you know. So Squelch the Weasel, it's not too brown. Right here. Yep, it's right there. 
Marble Tulip Juicy Tree. This song is an absolute banger. Marble Tulip Juicy Tree. It's just a, a wonderful song. Um, it's not too brown, but it kind of is. Like the guitar tone's wonderful. Like I'm gonna put it right here. Kind of hard to place it, but yeah, we're just gonna put it right there. There was Marble Tulip Juicy Tree. Now Puffy Cloud. This song is about how Dean and Jean smoke too much pot. So it's kind of it's kind of funny song. They're obviously really high when they're singing that they're trying to be. And it's pretty brown. The lyrics are funny. It's kind of slow. We're going to put it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a while to make because my computer screen kept freezing for some reason. And I had a coughing attack. So, yeah, thank you for the suggestion, um, Yeehaw90. And see you guys later. Bye.